In this video, we are going to learn about comparing angles and sides in triangles. So let's look at a triangle. And in this triangle, I'm going to label three sides with three different lengths. Now the question I have for us is, which angle in this triangle is the smallest and which is the biggest? And how can you know for sure? Well, the trick is the smallest angle will always be across from the smallest side. And the biggest angle will always be across from the biggest side. So since the smallest side is 5, that means that the smallest angle will be across from that over here. So the smallest angle will be this one. The biggest angle will be across from the biggest side. And the biggest side is 10. So that means that the biggest angle will be over here across from the side that's biggest. So even though we don't know the exact measures of these angles, it's interesting to note this relationship between smallest sides and smallest angles, or just between angles and sides in general. Now keep in mind that the opposite of this is true as well. So if we had started with a triangle where we only knew the angles, we knew that this angle was 100 degrees, and this angle was 50 degrees, and this angle was 30 degrees, then we can order the sides of this triangle from smallest to biggest. The smallest side is going to be across from the smallest angle. So since the smallest angle is 30 degrees, that means the smallest side must be over here across from it. Even though, again, we don't know the exact length, we can tell that it has to be the smallest side. The biggest side will be across from the biggest angle of 100 degrees, so the biggest side will be over here. We can use this relationship to compare two triangles. So let's say we have two triangles that have two pairs of congruent sides. So this side's congruent to this side, and this side's congruent to this side. Then, because that's true, if we know that this angle over here is 50 degrees, and this angle over here is 95 degrees, we know that this side must be bigger than this side, because 95 is bigger than 50. So because we already had two pairs of congruent sides. Whichever angle was bigger, which was the 95, would give us the bigger of the two third sides. So this is the bigger side. This is the smaller side if we're comparing these two side lengths.